Thomas Tuchel says Chelsea need more players ahead of trip to Burnley. Chelsea boss Thomas Tuchel says his side need more players to return from injuries and knocks ahead of their trip to Burnley on Saturday afternoon. The Blues beat Luton Town 3-2 in their FA Cup fifth round tie on Wednesday evening, with the German manager having to make a number of changes to the starting lineup. His side had previously played 120 minutes on Sunday afternoon in their Carabao Cup final loss to Liverpool, with some players seemingly being unfit for the match against Luton. Speaking to the media after the game, Tuchel revealed that he hopes for some of his players to return from their knocks as they prepare for their next Premier League fixture. Hopefully we get some players back. Ruben played in the back three, he never did before. It was kind of the last lineup we had defensively. We need more players back for Saturday. Midfielder Ruben Loftus-Cheek's performance in Chelsea's back three showed how many players the West London side had absent from the game. The likes of Harvey Vale, Lewis Hall and Dylan Williams all featured on the bench as the Blues overcame the Hatters at Kenilworth Road. Marina Granovskaya set to leave Chelsea as Roman Abramovich lists club for sale. Marina Granovskaya is expected to leave Chelsea when Roman Abramovich sells the club after he listed it for sale on Wednesday. Abramovich confirmed in a club statement that he would be selling Chelsea in the best interest of the club, the fans, the employees as well as the club's sponsors and partners. Granovskaya has known Abramovich for more than 20 years, and following the Russian-borns buy of Chelsea in 2003, she was given an official role at the club in 2010 as an official representative. Three years later in 2013, she was handed a position on Chelsea's board which has seen her go on to become a respected and shrewd operator in the boardroom. But now as the impending sale of the club nears, as per The Guardian, Granovskaya and Bruce Buck are both set to leave their roles in West London. The Chelsea director hasn't always been a favourite among fans and managers for some of her dealings in terms of transfers, with her being handed the power by Abramovich to make the decisions. Now it appears the end is near for Granovskaya in the English capital as Abramovich and his allies look to leave England following Russia's invasion of Ukraine and Abramovich's links to the Russian state and Vladimir Putin. Abramovich has come under pressure to sell Chelsea due to possible sanctions being put against him, which may have put the Blues in jeopardy with financial investment restricted should Abramovich be sanctioned by the UK government. Ruben Loftus-Cheek comments on his assist to Timo Werner against Luton Town. Chelsea midfielder Ruben Loftus-Cheek has commented on his assist to Timo Werner in their FA Cup fifth round win against Luton Town. The Blues beat the Hatters 3-2 on Wednesday night, with Loftus-Cheek playing in an unfamiliar right centre-back role. Victory on the road means that Chelsea have progressed to the quarter-finals of the competition for the third season in a row. Speaking to the official Chelsea website after the game, Loftus-Cheek spoke on the pass he made for Werner's goal and praised the German for his finish. I had a lot of time on the ball. Nobody was pressuring me so I looked up, Timo was pointing in behind. I tried to pick him out. It was a great touch and finish from Timo so credit to him. Loftus-Cheek featured in his 23rd game of the season for the Blues, and his ball to Werner was his fourth assist in all competitions for the campaign. Emerson Palmieri didn't get involved in January negotiations between Chelsea and Lyon. Chelsea's on-loan defender Emerson Palmieri has opened up about his failed return to Stamford Bridge in the January transfer window. Emerson joined the League One outfit for the 2021-20 second season and has been a standout for Peter Boss's side. However, due to Chelsea's injury problems at wing-back they tried try to recall the Italy international in January. When asked about the potential return, via inside football, the wing-back admitted that he did not get involved in the negotiations. The truth is simple, Emerson said. Everyone knows that Chelsea wanted me back. Leon said no, it was between the clubs, I didn't get involved. I had peace of mind and continued to work. The decision was not for me to take. Thomas Tuchel confirmed that he wished to recall Emerson in January to provide competition to Marcos Alonso whilst Chilwell was out with injury. However, the deal could not happen as Leon rejected several moves from the Blues and, instead, Kennedy returned from his loan move at Flamengo. The future of Emerson is unclear as he could remain at Leon next season, staying beyond his current loan spell. Barcelona now, more than confident, of signing Chelsea defender Andreas Christensen. Barcelona are now, more than confident, of signing Chelsea centre-back Andreas Christensen after putting forward an improved offer in the last 48 hours, according to reports. 
The Danish defender will be out of contract at the end of the current season and as such, he has attracted plenty of interest from clubs across Europe. While both Bayern Munich and Borussia Dortmund seem keen on the 25-year-old, it would appear as though his inevitable destination is going to be Barcelona. As per Fabrizio Romano, Xavi's side have improved the proposed contract offered to Christensen within the last 48 hours, and now there is a five-year deal on the table. Xavi is reported to be pushing hard to sign the Chelsea defender as he is a key asset to his plans moving forward with the club. The report goes on to state that Bayern are still trying, but Barcelona are now, more than confident, they will sign him. The deal has been in the works for a while now as it was recently reported that the player had given a verbal OK to the Catalan side's conditions. Barcelona are pursuing a swoop for not only Christensen, but also Chelsea captain Cesar Aspilicueta, who will also come to the end of his contract at the end of the current season. The Blues are currently facing a defensive contract crisis as they deal with the potential departure of Antonio Rudiger too, who is also nearing the end of his contract. With the likes of Real Madrid and Paris Saint-Germain interested, his destination is unknown. Jake Clark Salter offered Coventry City deal amid potential summer Chelsea departure. Chelsea loanee Jake Clark Salter has been offered a deal at Coventry City amid a potential departure from his parent club in the summer, according to reports. The Blues man is currently on loan at the Sky Blues, who are sitting 10th in the championship table. It is his sixth loan spell away from the world and European champions, with the 24-year-old coming through the academy at Cobham. According to Nathan Gissing, Coventry have offered the centre-back a three-year deal to make his move there permanent. His contract at Chelsea is set to expire at the end of the season, and he could therefore leave the club indefinitely should he not sign a new deal. There is believed to be interest from other clubs in his services, with teams in England, Germany, Belgium and Holland all keeping tabs on Clark Salter. However he is yet to have made a decision on his future, as he is concentrating on his football at Coventry. Clark Slater has only ever featured twice for Chelsea, with one Premier League and EFL Cup appearance apiece. He has been on loan at a variety of clubs to further his progress with the centre-back also playing for Bristol Rovers, Sunderland, Vitesse Arnhem and Birmingham City twice. So far this season he has made 25 appearances for Coventry and kept 8 clean sheets in all competitions. Throughout his career, he has made a total of 186 appearances for all clubs he has featured for, scoring 5 and assisting 6 from the centre of defence. That is on just new today. If you like the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you very much. Goodbye and see you by tomorrow news.